So you can see here it's starting to curl. And sorry about the angle, you're on the floor of my, my um, computer room. But if I flatten it out, it will actually stay flat. It will start to curl just ever so slightly, but that's okay because our next round is an increase round, and that will make it lay flat. So now we're on round 22. And like I've said before in the video, but I'm just going to remind you, if any time it's not laying flat, or you can't get it to lay almost flat, take out one of your repeat sevens. So let's say the last repeat seven that we just did, which was the last round, has made it curl up way too much, then take it out. You don't need it. This is to make it grow in size. You may have a smaller rug at the end of your project, but if you take out that round seven, it will make it so it will lay flat. Now we're joining in a new color. And so we're on round 22. And we start off with our beginning shell. And this one starts with a shell into the next eight spaces. So we have one. Two. Three. So I have eight shells. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that was my scissors falling on the floor. And we want to increase in the next. And then the next part says, so this is going to be our repeat, shell into the next 12 spaces and increase in the next. So it's shelling into the next 12 spaces. So I'm just going to do my 12. So my increase is there. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then our increase. And that is the repeat for this round. So we're working our increase. So pause the video and complete this round. And I will meet you when we are ready to do the next one, which is round 23. We are now up to round 23 and it says shell into the next space. So I've just done my beginning shell and it's increase into the next one. So it's one shell increase. And then this is our repeat. So we're going to shell into the next 13 spaces and increase into the next. So I won't film every 13 shells. So I'll meet you in just a moment. So our increase is here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and it's increase into this one. So that was my 13th one, and this is my increase. And this is our repeat for this round, which is 
show into the next 13 and increase into the next. So we're going to repeat this around and rounds, so the next two rounds, 24 and 25, are a repeat of round 7, so is a shell in each. So after this increase round, we need to do two rounds of no increasing. And I will meet you when we are ready to do round 26, and that will be our next increase round. So now we're up to round 26, and this round is a little bit different with our increasing. Um, I found that when I was designing this pattern, if I kept going, the rug kept like kept increasing the way we have been, it kept curling up and I couldn't get it to lay flat. So what we need to do now is put in a stack of increases. So I've just finished off there and joined, so I'm going to join my colour there. And this is when I started using all the paper clips. Or stitch markers because this round what we're going to do is we're going to increase in every fifth space so we want to to shell in the next four spaces and then increase into the next one and this is our repeat for this round so what I did because I for some reason couldn't pay attention to what I was doing I got all my paper clips and stitch markers and in every fifth space around so one two three four five I put a paper clip in that space so then I'd go one, two, three, four, five, and then put a stitch marker in there. One, two, three, four, five. So it's up to you if you want to do this. This is completely optional. It was also good when I was designing and and um, seeing if this if the increases would work in that round. Um, but like I said, completely optional, you don't have to do it. Um, I am about to sit and watch YouTube for a while <laughs> when I do this round, so I'll be adding mine in. So we need to repeat this around, doing a shell into the next four spaces and then increase in the next. And I will meet you when we're ready for the next round so pause the video and I'll see you in just a moment now we are up to rounds 27 and round 27 28 29 and 30 are all repeat seven so that's four rounds of one shell in each so I need to slip stitch across to start my round of shells and if you're following this pattern and you've had problems with your blanket curling up I know I can do four rounds of just the shells in every space but if you've had problems with it curling up you may only get three you should be able to get three but you may only get two as well depending on yarn and crochet hook size and things but Try and get the four if you can, but if you've used the chunky yarn or a thicker yarn, you may only get two or three rounds, but that's fine. Um, it doesn't affect the pattern anyway. It will just mean that you have less rounds and your um, finish rug will be a little bit smaller. So, yeah, like I said, rounds 27 to 30 are one shell in each, and I will meet you when we are ready for rounds 31. So when we come back, I will have a, lot, a few more rounds done. Pause the video and I'll meet you then. 
this is what mine looks like after four rounds of no increasing it is laying flat you could also add another round of repeat seven if you wanted to just make sure that your rug is laying flat 